I call it a spooky place. I didn't think I would ever be back here again. I want to know if it was a ghost, a demon. I just want to know what it is. I'm a person that likes to face my fears. I'm not a person that runs from something. I'm going to run to it. T-Boz has something that needs to be tamed. There's something really creepy going on inside of there. I keep smelling gas. Wow, this is crazy. I just heard a gunshot. My daughter can see things. Oh, my God. Whatever this is, it knows you came back today. <sighs> my name is Kim Russo, and I am a psychic medium. When I was nine, I was visited by the first of many dead people who wanted to communicate with the living through me. Realizing that I couldn't ignore my abilities, I chose to embrace them. Many people are haunted by traumatic paranormal events buried in their past. Some of these people have faces you might recognize. You've heard about their paranormal experiences. Now you are about to witness the moment they take me back to the place of the haunting in the hopes of uncovering the truth. This is the haunting of Tian Tibaz Watkins. We are on the way to the townhouse where I used to live. I call it a spooky place. I totally left this house because of all the scary stuff going on. I don't like that. So I moved because of this. It's been four months since I've left this house. So going back, I want to know if it was a ghost, a demon, if it's both. Like, at least let me know what I'm dealing with, so therefore I'll know how to deal with it. I am in Calabasas, California. I'm headed over to meet with T-Boz. T-Boz was best known for her singing role in the girl band TLC. She claims to have had paranormal experiences here in this home, and she wants to know what is this entity or what is this activity and why her. Spirits usually have an agenda. They don't just come and make noise for no reason. If they're making noise, they want something. I was living in Atlanta with my daughter, and she had a childhood friend that she met in kindergarten. And things used to happen over her friend's house. Chase was talking to this little girl on FaceTime, and she would see something walking behind her friend and think somebody was in a room and it wasn't. I'm like, OK, she got hooky pooky stuff going on at her house. But you know, at the time, I'm like, oh, that's just kids being kids, blah, blah, blah. So not long after that, we moved to California. We got a town home. It was like five stories tall. My daughter's childhood friend comes for Christmas. Nothing's going on or anything. The little girl leaves our house after Christmas, and that's when things really started happening to us. This particular night, I got up and I went downstairs. I get, you know, a drink of water. And I'm looking around the room. 
and I get this eerie feeling that something's behind me. And then when I go to go upstairs, it, it felt like something was right here. I just put my back against the wall. Oh my God, it scared the crap out of me. I was like, okay, something's going on. But it was the next incident that really scared my daughter. We were walking into the house and we were holding grocery bags. I know. All of a sudden, she dropped the bags and screamed Mom. and covered her face and she pointed and she just did like that to the point to where that, that scared, fearful face that you just know she sees something and she's like over there. She's saying this tall, grayish black, clear thing is standing right there looking at her and I'm looking like I don't see anything you could just see the fear in her face like she's not lying and I was just like oh please say it ain't so I don't want this to be here as time went on my daughter would talk about seeing the little girl I'll be in the bathroom doing my hair or something. My daughter will be in the bathtub, and I'll see her look, and then she'll look down. And I'm like, what? And she's like, it's a little girl standing right there outside the door. Like, she'll describe it. A nice little girl. It wasn't mean like the other one. My daughter has the ability to tell you, well, this one was nice, Mommy, and this one looks mean. That's why I started thinking, like, well, maybe it's Chase, you know? Maybe she has some ability to see things that, you know, most of us can't. Sometime later, I had to leave and go on tour for two months, and my mom was staying with my daughter in the middle of the night. They started smelling gas. And the stove would just came on by itself, all the way on full throttle. It was kind of like the final straw, like, come on now, like, are you trying to harm us? Are you trying to kill somebody? Like, what are you doing? So I was like, I'm getting the heck up out of here. Because I didn't know if it was following my daughter or if it was the house. I just didn't want to be there anymore. It just wasn't a good place to be. I don't know if my daughter always had those abilities, but I still feel like that childhood friend brought something there. Because we, we had no issues, no issues really like that until she came there. I just want to know what it is. I really, really want my daughter Chase to come by today. I want her to meet Kim and I want Kim to see if she gets any vibe from my daughter or if she can tell me if my daughter has an ability like she has. I really want Chase to um, be settled herself in knowing what's going on with her, if she's special. If my daughter is, then I want to know how to handle it as a mother to help her, you know, with it. I am already picking up a slew of characters on the other side. I keep seeing this young woman, very adorable, very petite. She speaks really, really fast. Her energy is like a high voltage. And she keeps saying something about the patches on the jeans. But I can't shake this feeling of uh, darkness. t -Boz has something that needs to be tamed. It's very active. It seems to be something that's scaring her and her daughter. I'm definitely feeling a violent energy of a man. He's not at peace, and he's uh, vengeful. And I can feel that he had the personality of a very, very nasty drunk. I don't know if this is someone T-Boz knows. I, I, would, I would hope not. I have to get to the bottom of this and see what this is. And I am hoping I can help her today. I just feel that this may be something a little bit bigger than what I am able to do. I, I'm not ashamed to admit it.
Okay, you guys. Ah. This is gonna be interesting because if this is the one in question, which I feel like it is, there's something really creepy going on inside of there. I wanna see if I can get a little closer. Oh my God, my stomach's dropping. Uh, I don't like what I'm getting. And I hope she gets here soon because this is not comfortable. Whatever this is, it knows you came back today. Ew. I think that's just the beginning. Oh. I hope she gets here soon because this is not comfortable. I don't know if I'm happy to be here, but I'm happy to find out what I'm gonna find out today. Oh my God, is that her? <laughs> this is so real. Now it's real, real time. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? Good, nice to finally meet you. Same here. <laughs> how long has it been since you've been back? Uh, almost going on four months. Oh, so oh my, we this, just moved. This is recent. I call it the Freaky Jason Spooky House. I didn't think I would ever be back here again. So, have you ever seen a medium? No, but my daughter, who I want you to meet later, can see things. Okay. And she's the one that messes with, or they would mess with. It, it was more than one thing that she saw, and then it started getting more frequent. Okay. Very interesting. Um, I can't speculate now, but I'm, I was already picking some things up in the car. That's crazy. I was, a, I'm a, I was already picking um, a lot of information up. Uh, for example, there's a very aggressive man who loves to drink a lot of alcohol. And when he drinks, he gets violent. So I don't know if that sounds familiar to you. Mm -mm. Um, I did pick up on a lady that was in the car with me who has all this energy. She told me she works through you writing lyrics of songs. <laughs> but a lot of them are still in the, on the paper. They still haven't got, gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, she said she's come to you in your dreams quite often. Yeah, that's Lisa in my group. OK, I'll tell you what she said to me in the car. She kept bringing up jeans, pants, and bringing up the patches that you would put on a pants. In TLC, when we first started out, me and Lisa started out together, I would dress us and she would paint the pants. And I used to like cut up the pants and she would spray paint them. So yeah, that was our thing together. She told me to tell you that she's with her dad. They met each other on the other side. And they're, they, they're hanging out the same way she always wanted. That's crazy. That was her problem, her dad. The day that we got signed, I mean, the actual moment she got a call and her dad was murdered. So it was, oh my it was God. Like her dream came true. And her so it, the whole thing with her dad, that was a big deal. Is it true that she passed right before your daughter was born? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna make me cry, yeah. That's what she just told me. I think that what your daughter has seen in the past with the light? She, she just saw a light two days ago. Two days ago? Well, she has it on her iPhone. <laughs> she just said, I am the one in the light. I am the one that showed up in the light. And she said, I never got to give you your last birthday present. Because she died the day before my birthday. <laughs> um, it wouldn't shock me if she's going to be joining us for the rest of the day. I do think she wants to be here when your daughter gets here. Why don't we get rolling on our day? I'm I... ready to go and see whatever, whatever it is, good or bad, I'm ready. You are brave. Yeah, I'd rather face my fear instead of living in fear. OK. OK. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. 
Whoa, look at this. How did it feel? Did it feel like a place you want to live? Because right now, this does not feel good at to me. At first, I was just happy to be somewhere. Uh -huh. But I never felt at home. I never felt settled. And I never fully unpacked for some reason. I gotcha. So I am already sensing, as, as we walked in here, that all the energy that I'm feeling that seems dark is more that way. That's where it would happen. Could we just briefly touch on where you moved from? Because I feel like you sort of had something going on there. Well, let me take you back to Atlanta before we even moved to California. My daughter had a kindergarten childhood friend, and her and her mother used to have things happen. Spirit activity. They have witches and everything in that family. And this is the little girl that I bought to California for Christmas that I felt left something at the house, because after she left is when stuff started happening with my daughter. As you're telling me this story, I just want to tell you, that little girl has seen a lot of things mm -hmm. that she should not have seen. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you know. Mm -hmm. but You're there, absolutely right. There's a lot of darkness in that family. Your daughter's friend, she has a lot of emotional issues. Absolutely. And my daughter just had an argument with her two days ago, and she just blocked her forever. I really feel like she left something when she left that time. I think it's attached to that family, and it came to mind. There's something else going on, though. I think there's think? more than that. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that's just the beginning. Oh, OK, so there's going to be more. OK. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I also see another child. I see a little girl in a blue dress. My daughter always says she sees a little girl. Mm-hmm. But she says the little girl's nice. <laughs> She lives somewhere close by. So far, that's all I know. I know there's an angry alcoholic man. OK. And I feel like there's a little girl. OK. I'm ready for whatever. I just want to protect my daughter. I totally understand that. Why don't we go upstairs? OK. Yeah, this was the floor where a couple of things happened that really, well, more than a couple, actually. Yeah, the kitchen is where a lot of things always seem to happen. Whatever this is, it knows you came back today. Who? This entity keeps making me feel like he's so happy you came back. Happy? Yeah, because you have to understand, it fed off of messing with you guys. When you guys would get scared, it would generate more energy to give this, this ghost. And then the problems would compound. Mm -hmm. For example, I keep smelling some kind of uh, gas. Do you know what this is? Yeah. I was, <laughs> wow, this is crazy. He's stubborn. You can't reason with him. There's someone that was in your life you couldn't reason with. No! I keep smelling some kind of uh, gas do you know what this is? Yeah. I was like, wow, this is crazy. So my mom was laying here, and my daughter was upstairs all day, and she hadn't cooked. And the gas came on strong, like something turned it on. Right there? The, right the there. knobs on the stuff? Yeah. I'm going to go over and look at that. And no one was around? No, and my mom called me, because I was on the road. My mom stays with my daughter when I work. Yeah. And um, they both called me on the road like, Mom, like, the gas was on by itself. She was like, Tian, I'm telling you, I didn't get up, I didn't cook. Yeah, all that. And it was just full throttle on. Oh, no. That pissed me off, because I'm like, to hurt my mom and my daughter, not cool. This entity has some sort of intelligence. 
it's evil in nature. But why is it here? Something brought it here or someone brought it here. This is what I'm trying to get to. Um, I'm starting to hone in on this guy. It may be very hard to get rid of him. He's stubborn. You can't reason with him. There's someone that was in your life you couldn't reason with. I was just told that right now. They told me it's before you were married. No, I know who that is. Very, very, very headstrong. Mm -hmm. Did things his own way. Mm -hmm. He has like a similar vibration of this man that I'm picking up on. Very angry, very volatile. Um, I don't want to call that person out on TV, but yeah, that was before I was married. And they were violent, and we used to fight. Yeah. This entity reminds me. Uh, you, you've been around a lot of people that are just evil. Mm -hmm. I'm in the music industry. Most of them are evil. You know, I've heard that a lot before. A lot of the musicians tell me those exact words. Uh, and, and again, I know you've, you've had people in your life like that. You, mm -hmm. you can identify with it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how you dealt with them, but it may be the same way we need to deal with this entity. Are you up for it? Yeah. I just wonder who this thing or person is because, like, I try to get rid of negative stuff around me. But now we have your daughter involved. Mm -hmm. So we have to protect her, mm -hmm. we have to protect your space, and we have to ensure that he doesn't hitch a ride to wherever else you're going. Yeah, don't do that. OK, we have to I get to her. he just go away. Hopefully, by the end of today, you and I can do that. Okay. That is my prayer. I don't know that it's going to be easy. OK. I want to get back to the kitchen, but I, I want to first go upstairs. OK. There's something upstairs that I think could explain some more activity. OK. I'll follow well, you. Cold. Can I put on a jacket? Yeah, please it's put on your jacket. It is cold in here. It's freezing, I know. It is freezing. This is the wall that my daughter saw the, uh, the man. He would stand there and stare at her. No one else was in this area. Nobody, it was just me and my daughter. And I was over there. Wow. Yeah. And she didn't want to look up. She was like, she didn't want to look at it. She was like, it's just staring at me evil. Oh my God. But right here is when I was walking back up the stairs right here, and I felt something behind me. So I just stopped, because it just felt like something was on, on, on me. On your neck, on yeah, your Yeah, just like way too close to me. It was just uh -huh. really uncomfortable. You know, I felt exposed, so going like this just made me feel guarded, like you can't get on me, you know, and then I felt way better, enough to go upstairs, like it wasn't gonna mess with me, mm -hmm. even I lived, if it was still here. Lived my whole childhood like that. I know how you feel. That's terrible, because I, you know, it's I wouldn't wish worst, that on anybody. It's the worst feeling in the world. Could you see them, though, when you were little? When I was little, I saw them very clear, like your oh, daughter. Wow. OK, let's keep going. Um, there's something that keeps popping up about the way you set boundaries in your life. What about all the people that I sensed did take quite a bit of advantage of you? Because it looks like maybe you don't know how to say no. I know, and I'm working on that. I have to tell you, entities that are evil in nature, they could sense that good nature. They can sense it. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> like, don't try to take advantage of me. OK, I got you. I think that's part of the problem here, okay. to be honest with you. Uh, and somebody just popped in out of nowhere. I don't know who he is. He's a handsome young guy. He says he knows you. He, um, I think they, he just might have went by the initial D. He keeps making his initial big for me, a big, giant initial D. Hey, pretty girl. We've been talking a lot about you today, you know. You have a lot of abilities. I don't know if you're aware of this.
he just might have went by the initial D. He keeps making his initial big for me, a big, giant initial D. <gasps> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I got scared. No, I know who you're talking about. Okay. Oh, is he... is, are there two Ds? Like, he has a brother with a D? He keeps bringing up... It's his son. Okay. There's two of them. He's my cousin, Donnie. The deceased one is your cousin? Yeah. And his son is also the D? The same name. All right. That's my favorite cousin ever, so... He said he, he passed away of an illness because he was sick. He keeps telling me he was sick. We both have the same disease, and that's what he passed from. What disease? Sickle cell. He said, your daughter saved your life. Do you even know that? Her birth allowed you to live. So that, that's, that's one of her biggest soul missions, was to keep you alive. Yeah, I know. And... Because I almost died a couple of times. <laughs> but that's the only reason I stayed here. Truly. Amazing. He keeps bringing up your daughter is your angel in more ways than one. She's very special. Oh, she came against all odds, my dear. Because <laughs> I, I was told I couldn't have kids, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. And then I almost didn't make it. I was in a coma for three days. So her soul and your soul has a bigger mission. I feel like I'm here to help people. I think that's what my mission is, I think. Because um, I've gotten through too many death sentences and stuff to not be here for something. OK. But when it comes to your personal space, you need to, re you need to treasure it and respect it more than you do. <laughs> I know. I need to work on it. I do. You know what it is? I think I take care of everybody else except for myself. Yeah, that has to change. Now. OK, thank you, Donnie. OK. Right on. It's big. It's a big message. It is. They come through to give us help, too. OK. Huh? Oh, is she here? Hey. Hey, sweetie. But this is the angel. Her, actually, her middle name means angel. <laughs> it's Anila. It means angel in Hawaiian. Hey, pretty girl. For real? Mm -hmm. We've been talking a lot about you today, you know. Mom has been filling me in on some things that have happened in this house mm -hmm. and um, with, with your childhood friend. Oh. Mom said that you're not pursuing that friendship anymore. Mm -hmm. Actually, the other day, she texted me, and we kind of just, like, I kind of just was, like, over it, you know? Like, I blocked her or whatever, because she just, like, I don't even know who she is anymore. Like, it was one thing we were little, but, like, I know things have happened and everything like that, her past. And I, I, feel, I feel bad, you know, for that, because I, I couldn't imagine, you know, what that would be like. She sort of attracts negative energy to her. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, though, as long as you were still in, in touch with her, you were still intertwined with her energy. And it doesn't matter if you're in person or over the phone. Mm -hmm. It's still her energy. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense, because I had picked that up. Like, things would happen. She saw something in her room. Like, they were FaceTiming or something, remember? And she yeah. saw something in the room. She was like, who's in your room? And the girl was like, nobody. And Chase saw something in her room. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. You need to be careful with the people you hang around with, because whatever they attract is what's going to be coming into your space, too. Yeah, I've been working on that. Mommy say hello. Mommy told you that too. Mm-hmm. But I realized, like, I, and I've been working on that. Like, I have to teach myself, like, you can't help everybody. You kind of have the same lesson. Yeah. <laughs> everybody says she's a lot like me, so hey. We're not alone here, and we mm -hmm. have totally something negative, but we also have positive. Mm -hmm. We have your friend Lisa, who showed up in the light, mm -hmm. and that you you said that. You have a picture on your phone of a light? Can I see it? Did you see it right Oh, there? yes. Of uh -huh. course I saw it. Yeah. It just went right quick. How did you grab, how did you grab that? I, I was sitting down, and I just got like a feeling something was there. And so I recorded it, and I caught something, and I was like, oh my god. So that's your friend. Mm-hmm. She watches you, and, mm -hmm. and she watches you. Mm -hmm. and that's what that light is. That's Lisa 
trying to protect you. She comes to protect you from what is around you. But I also sense a little, little sweet energy in this, in, in the home or, or around girl. you. Yes, as a matter of fact, 10 years old maybe? All I know is I would hear like a little girl's voice laughing sometimes and I'd be like, where did that come from? And it followed her into this bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I see a little girl in a blue dress. And I feel like this girl was a child actress. Mm -hmm. She likes you. She likes you a lot. You must have something in common. Do you want to be an actress as well? Yeah. <laughs> That's so She yeah. does. That's crazy you said that. She does. I That's all she talks about. OK. Um, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now, I would like to know more about what you saw in this bathroom. Could we go there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd love to, like, be in the space. Remember how you didn't like to come up to this hallway? Um, I was standing, like, right there. And I got that vibe, like this really weird feeling that I get usually when I, like, since something's there, you know? And I heard something, and I don't know if this is what it said. It sounded like, come with me. Mm -hmm. He's here for a reason. There's something this man wants from you guys. something and I don't know if this is what it said it sounded like come with me mm-hmm and I turned around and it was like a very tall man so it, was it a deep voice how did it sound it's kind of like a whisper like a like a come, come with me what did you do at that point and where were you in my room okay did you run did you get scared run see they feed off fear yeah you know that okay but do you always feel like there's a, a presence with you, good or bad? At, mo at moments, yes. I, I sense this little girl's with you a lot. Something happened to her. You remember being in the bathtub and, and I asked you what you were looking at, you looked down and you was like a little girl. You all remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see her or hear her? I, I don't know. Like, she just has, like, a presence like I know it's a little girl like I can sense when it's different things first I get the feeling something's there and I can then in that moment I know like if it's the little girl if it's the evil tall man or if it's something else like I just I get like feelings off different things I'm very very connected to this little girl she likes you because you are of your pure heart this girl didn't live far from you guys. And, and she saw you, and you, you felt safe to her. You made her feel safe. So I feel like she's just sort of tagging on for the ride, but she means no harm. When I get a feeling that she's there, I don't ever feel like she means anything. She says she's like, nice, Mommy. She's really she's nice. She's nice. Like, I don't, under, I don't ever get scared, or if I see her, OK? Like, no matter what happens, this girl will be with you. And yeah, and I feel to help you live out your dream, because it was her dream. Mm -hmm. You're like these kindred souls. Mm -hmm. But I want to make clear that this has nothing to do with your friend in Atlanta, OK? I just want to make that clear. OK. Her friend did not bring this energy with her. What was here was attracted to you, it was mm -hmm. that little girl. Mm -hmm. And some somehow the man is connected to her. And whoever this man is, he's also here for a reason. But who the heck is this guy? I don't know. I'm not comfortable with the gas stove going on. That, uh, that does not sit well with me. Whoever that is, he tried to kill or harm you guys. Mm -hmm. If your mother didn't catch that stove on, you guys should, could, could have all passed out from the fumes. I feel like I want to go back into that kitchen. That's where I feel the most, like, negative 
Okay, so we have to really go and confront it once and for all, and I hope to get some answers. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now this is where this, this man hangs out. How did you experience him? I never really saw his face. What did you see? Tell me. His figure. Go ahead, explain. Uh, just dark and tall is all I could see. It was just a dark, tall, but like I just knew it was a man. Like it just looked like a man. You know, you have a lot of abilities. I don't know if you're aware of this. You need to trust what you see, what you feel, and what you hear. You're, you're sort of like a magnet to the spirit world. Mm -hmm. But there's something this man wants from you guys. It's the little girl that's keeping this man around. I just heard a gunshot. And I just saw the girl. But she told me, he shot me. He killed me. Not only did he kill her, he was her father. You are the perfect prey for a spirit. Oh, don't cry, don't cry. I just saw the girl, and she told me. He shot me. He killed me. Not only did he kill her, he was her father. I'm sorry. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. I know. Okay. You are sensitive. So her dad killed her? And he killed her mom, too. <sighs> this man is very demented because I just saw him light a match, and he tried to destroy the evidence. I just saw he put the gun in his mouth. Murder-suicide. So he killed them and killed himself? Yep, I just saw the whole thing. <laughs> it looks as if the mother was trying to get away from him. And it was, it was like, you're not getting away from me alive. Anybody ever tell you that in your life? It was in other words, but yeah. That's one more time you escaped death, my dear. Mm -hmm. Whether you know it or not. Yeah, I don't know if I knew it, but I know what you're talking about. I'm telling you now because that's what I'm being told. OK. You had a very similar situation, but you got out alive. Mm hmm They weren't as lucky. <laughs> the little girl, I don't feel she's trapped at all. But he can't move on into any kind of peaceful existence. Um, is there a way to get rid of it? There is. And I want to just tell you, first and foremost, you guys have to learn how to protect yourself. You are the perfect prey for a spirit who wants to try to let you see them, because you can see them. They do appear to you. You even have to be careful what you bring home, even though you don't think you do. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said to you. You don't have the best boundaries. Mm -hmm. And a spirit could sense your good nature. 
I'm tired of it, like, personally. Me too. I just want it over with. to go away. All right. I'm, so like, done. Let's, let's get rid of this guy. How do you do How that? How do you do that? I know you said that you have no problem facing your fears. Maybe we need to give uh, <laughs> Chase a lesson here. You can handle this. Okay, I'm sure you gave your daughter advice about the man in the past. What did you tell her to do? To be strong and confident, but mean what she says. Like, don't say it weak. Don't, like, just say it to be saying it. Mean it. And stand firm. Your daughter has abilities, and she needs to embrace them. Mm -hmm. This is no time to be soft or weak at the, or scared. You need to tell them you don't scare me anymore. <laughs> You can't bully us anymore. We know who you are. We know what you did. So pretty much it's like calling him out on it as well. Mm -hmm. And then let him be on his way. I just like want to tell him he just needs to go away. He's just not. He Let's do it. not wanted. I think he needs to know that he's not welcome. He, no, we don't want him here. He needs to go away. Take a deep breath. How do you feel? A lot better. A I lot feel better. better. I almost sense that it ushered this way. I don't know if you felt it too. I don't feel anything cold back here anymore. I feel okay. How about a high five? <laughs> Hello, high five. <laughs> Boom. Absolutely. You girls are great. Thank oh you. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> this has been a great day though. Thank I you. I really appreciate everything. It's been some journey. Kim is the real deal, honey. There's things that she knew, there's no way that she could know. Kim gave me everything I needed. She confirmed my daughter is special. So just getting confirmation that I was right, I feel good. Also, getting a resolve as to who was bothering my daughter, why they were bothering my daughter, and to make it go away, it was great. I really feel like it's not gonna bother us anymore. I'm very happy that I was able to help give Tian and Chase the tools so that when evil creeps in again, and it will try, they can recognize it and stop it dead in its track. I feel the true lesson that's been learned here is you can have love, but you always must have boundaries with the living as well as the dead.